Hey, what's up everybody? Abbas here from Golden Motor. This is a CYC X1 Pro Gen 3 motor. Uh, one of the most beautiful things about this motor is that the bottom bracket is so easy to change. It's very versatile. So you can switch it from between 68 to 100, 100 to 120, 120 to back to 68. So today I'm going to be showing you how to do it and what parts are involved. Let's go. So these are all the parts for the bottom bracket. Uh, basically, this is the setup right here for the 68 millimeter. This is the setup for the 100 millimeter. And this is the setup for the 120. Right now on this motor, it's a 68 millimeter setup. So basically your bottom bracket cup will go right here. Um, and then basically when you're switching out from a 68 to 100, you're gonna bring the bottom bracket, I mean the, the left mounting bracket up so your bottom bracket cup size increases, your spindle size increases, same for the 120. Um, as you can notice, I am not working on a BB92 right now. The reason is for that one, you actually have to change out the right mounting bracket also. So the process is a little bit more involved, but I'm gonna make a separate video for that. It's definitely doable. So this is a 68. Um, as you can see, the mounting plate for this one is right here. So the process is the same. If you had 120 and you want to go back to a 68, these are the parts you would get and vice versa. So I'm going to show you from the 68 to 120 uh, what the process is. And the process for the 100 is very similar. So let me just take some parts out that I'm just going to show you on camera and I'm going to take it out so it don't get in the way. This is basically the mounting bracket for the 68. So when you have your motor on the down tube, this is where you mount it on the down tube and then you hook it up with the screws in the dice right here. So basically, obviously, when you extend up your bottom bracket, the size for the 100 and the 120 will be a little bit different. Uh, the screws are actually the exact same size, only the size of these brackets is similar. So I'm going to take these out of the way. Okay, so now if I have that out of the way, uh, let me show you this. So the, basically the, the left mounting bracket for the 100 and 120 is the exact same thing. So it's, it's gonna come out like this. The only difference is between these two is the size of the spacers. Right here, this is for the 100 and the size of spacers and the bolts on 120. So that's the difference. So I'm gonna take this out so now you know the difference. Another thing that you notice that the, the size for this spacer right here, the thickness, everything is the same for 100 and 120. This spacer does not exist in the 68 because you do not need to, there's a sm spacer already over there. So basically what we're going to do is bring this, this uh, mounting plate right here and the spacer is going to take the place for it. So this is the same in 100 and 120. The bottom bracket cup, the left bottom bracket cup size is different. So this is for the 68, this is for the 100, this is 120. So we're going to keep the 120. And obviously the spindle size, like I mentioned, is different for the 68, 100, and 120. So we're going to be working on the 120. Another difference between the spacers is um, in the 68, um, it doesn't have any additional spacers. The one that comes with the kit, it comes uh, in the 100, you'll get an... A, um, you'll get an extra four millimeter spindle spacer. And for the 120, you'll get a four millimeter spindle spacer, and then you'll get an extra five millimeter uh, bottom bracket spacer. And now I'm gonna show you the actual installation process, how to change it out from a 68 to 100. So the first step will be to take out this left mounting bracket, and we gotta take out the dice from this one right here. So we'll at least loosen these three bolts out with a three millimeter hex. And then these two, we take these out with a four millimeter hex. So let's do that. So we took out the dice. This is where the motor hanger goes on. So we're gonna save it on further because we're gonna put it back onto the this mounting bracket. Now these two with the four millimeter hex. Okay, so now we can just take out this plate and there's a spacer right here. Okay, so I have everything taken out. So these two bolts right here, these two right there. This is the 68 mounting plate and this spacer right here. So basically if you're changing from 120 or 100 to a 68, you would just put this plate right here, the spacer right there, 
And then you guys just saw how the bolts go. So these two big bolts right here, two small controller bolts right there, and then the dice will go back over there. So we don't need this plate anymore and we don't need these three bolts. So one big one and two small one. These three we don't need. This one we're still gonna need. And then this spacer we're still gonna need. So now I'm gonna change so this, this extra spacer right here now. This is gonna go in first over here. To line it up. There we go. And then this spacer right here is gonna go in right there. And then the plate's gonna go in right here. So it lines up right here. So I usually do is like the one that came off from the 68, I usually put this back in so this stays, this stays straight. And I just put this one on first. Okay, next step is to put the mounting plates. So it's gonna go in right here. So it's gonna be much more out than a 68. So that's what we need these spacers for. So the small spacer is gonna go in right here on the motor and the two bigger ones are gonna go on the controller. And basically your mounting plate's gonna sit right here. So I'm gonna put the bolt, put it to the spacer. And then the last one right here. Now tighten, tighten all of them in. Okay, and the last step is basically to install the dice back on. And that is it folks. So now check it out like much more. This is, this is, this motor is now set up for 120 millimeter. So you can put the larger spindle, larger left bottom bracket cup, and you're good to go. These two spacers will come in uh, play when you're actually installing the motor on your bike. So you need to space it, your, um, space it out more on your bike. So these two will come in later. But that's it guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped a lot. Uh, let us know if you have any other questions for us, but we'll see you next time.